Hello everyone, you are welcome to the sixth episode of the Manual Reinforced Concrete Design using the RCC Design Excel Spreadsheet. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can establish the accurate load carrying capacity section of ARC rectangular column and then the, um, the spreadsheet we'll be using is RCC 12 okay so rcc 12 is about bending and axial force okay so axial force basically we're talking about the column uh, i got a request after the last episode that okay you know the last episode we used rcc 11 which is the element design and what we did we did the design of you know a one span beam and we also did the design of the um of the shear link okay so what if it is not a single span beam what if we have several spans of course there are templates you can use here so if you check this very well you will see um rcc 95 okay here you can just do the continuous beams you can see continuous beam this is the table version okay so even if you do not want to use the table version you can also use um you know rcc 41 it is also a continuous beam a and d which means analysis and design so if you click on this, for example, you will see how you can use it. It is almost the same thing. So you come to main. It is almost the same thing as what we did in episode um, two. Okay. So it is capable of, you know, doing the analysis and design of the beam up to six spans. You just put this span and then you put the support condition. You put the loading and then you go ahead and then you analyze and design so that is it for the continuous beam so you can have up to six spans of beam and then you analyze and design them at the same time so it does not need to be a single span beam okay um you see something here it is telling me that um there is a security risk or whatever so um that should not be an issue how you can eliminate that is um let me open this so let's see rcc 41 right just right click and then you go to the properties all right and then under the general you see unblock it's because it is blocked so you click on unblock and then you can click on okay all right so if you click on it one more time now you see that there's nothing like um security risk okay it's just opening so you see that um there's nothing like security risk or whatever so that's fine okay so we'll close this and then we'll go to the um actual um actual business of today so as i said we will be establishing the accurate load carrying capacity section of the rectangular rc column so um in order to do that let's just see what we will be doing so um let me just take you through what we'll be establishing we have a graph here okay so we have a graph you can see the axial compression is at the y-axis and then the moment is at the left axis okay so basically you see there are two points over here these two positions they represent the loading at um for each each combination if you look at this there are two load cases okay so there is load case one and let's there is load case two so for load case one you see what you have and this is where the load case two is so what you should be looking to establish is that these two points they need to be inside the area of this curve okay you can see the this curve okay so these two points they need to be inside if they are inside then you have a good cross section if it is outside then the cross section cannot carry the load so these two points they need to be what they need to be inside this area that is the first thing you need to keep at the back of your mind another thing you need to keep at the back of your mind is that the closer this um these points are to the line the more economical it will be so if this point is inside this area but it is far that means you are just wasting the concrete or you are wasting the reinforcement. At least you can make it to be closer here, okay? But don't let it to be um, exiting this line. So those are the two things you need to keep at the back of your mind. So um, if that is fine, then we can just move properly into the, the work, okay? So for the material, you know, the concrete, let me use grade 30 for the concrete. And then for the steel, let's use uh, grade 14, okay? And then this will remain constant for the steel and for the concrete. Then the section of the of the column okay no 450 by 300 is fine okay so um the cover let's use um cover of 30 cover of 30 is fine okay then the top reinforcement which is this one at the top let me use 16 mm okay and then two numbers and then over here as well let's use um 16 mm and then let's use um three numbers okay so automatically it will fix the area and then the spacing and whatever okay so now if you look at this you see that the two points they are outside the curve okay they are what outside the curve so um we need to fix the load this is the axial load 
the the XGR load is too much. I wonder how you're having this, or maybe unless maybe it's the foundation level. But this is very high, 2400. So let me use um XGR load of four. No, let's use 250. XGR load of 250. And then moment, let's use moment of 75. Okay. And then for the load case two, let's say this is a little bit higher. This is 300. And then the moment is also higher. Let's say 100. Okay. So now let's establish this. Now you see that these two points, they are within the and the area but they are not so close to the line so let's see if we can reduce this so let's reduce this by 300 by 300 okay so this one is down outside um the load case one or is that load case two yeah the load case two is now outside okay so that's not i'm um, doing so fine so let's see if we can increase the the diameter let's increase the diameter to 20 for load case two okay so you see that load case 2 is now inside okay so that tells me that okay if i want to use load case 2 if this is my condition if my n is 300 and my moment is this then the perfect the perfect section for me to use is um 300 by 300 and i should provide um this kind of reinforcement so by doing this you've actually designed your column Did you understand by doing this you've actually designed your column so this is just like a trial and error method of designing your column so with this, you've designed your column. So using any of the two load cases, you just go ahead and do that. And if you want to print, okay, so just click on print sheet. Although my Adobe is not working. Let's see. So my Adobe is not working actually. So um, you need to print if you if there is need for you to print. So this is how you are going to, you know, design your column. You will establish the accurate section and then the number and diameter of the rebar that is required using this um interaction charts okay also don't forget that there are other methods of designing your column you have other spreadsheets for example you can use um rcc11 okay so if you use rcc11 okay so you can see the column design here so you can also use this particular one to do your column analysis and design sorry your column design okay so um this is not a big deal so you see column design so you can either use this or you use the rcc12 so either use RCC12 or you use RCC11, you should have the same result. You can always confirm that and then, you know, be, be sure. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, kindly consider giving me a subscription. Thank you for watching.